Hey everybody, Smart Silver Stacker here. Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to delve into the story of an undervalued industrial metal. But we're actually not talking about silver this time. You see, the green energy revolution is about to unleash a tremendous amount of demand for nickel. So much so that the International Energy Agency forecasts global demand for nickel to grow by at least 65% by 2030. There's going to be a rush by miners, auto manufacturers, battery makers, you name it, to lock down safe, accessible, and long-term supplies of nickel. And right now, investors have an opportunity to get exposure to a geopolitically safe, domestic nickel resource before the supply crunch hits in earnest. And I have partnered up with today's video sponsor, Alaska Energy Metals, OTC ticker symbol AKEMF, to tell you about it. More on them later. First, let's talk about why the IEA has forecast such strong growth in the demand for nickel. Here's a clip of Elon Musk from the Joe Rogan Experience podcast that might shed some light on this question. It's a misnomer, actually. The it's called lithium lithium ion, but that's like that's like the salt in the salad. You know, oh. it's like it's like do you like salt in your salad? Sure, but it's not made of salt. The primary component in lithium ion batteries, like in a Tesla, is nickel. In fact, the average electric vehicle battery contains more than sixty pounds of nickel, and some exceed that number tremendously. Just look at this data: over one million Tesla Cybertrucks have already been pre-ordered. And to produce that volume of this one model alone will require more than 86,000 tons of nickel. To put that into perspective, the average nickel mine worldwide produces roughly 42,000 tons per year. The transition to electric vehicles, put simply, is going to demand vast quantities of nickel. That's probably why Musk has gone on record urging miners to produce more of this critical metal. He even tweeted that nickel supply was Tesla's biggest concern for scaling up battery production. According to Statista, about 65% of primary nickel consumption worldwide currently goes to stainless steel production, with only 15% used for manufacturing batteries. However, you can see that over time, this percentage has been growing rapidly. And as EV production and a shift towards renewable energy sources continues to be a focus of policy around the world, this trend will continue to accelerate for the foreseeable future. How much will the transition to clean energy and EVs boost demand? According to a report published by S&P Global, energy transition-related U.S. demand for critical minerals lithium, nickel, and cobalt taken together will be 23 times higher in 2035 than it was in 2021. So yeah, we're gonna need a lot of this stuff, but that could actually be somewhat problematic. The US Department of Defense tells us that the United States depends on unreliable foreign sources for many of the strategic and critical materials necessary for the clean energy transition, such as lithium, nickel, cobalt, graphite, and manganese used in large capacity batteries. And demand for such materials is projected to increase exponentially as the world transitions to a clean energy economy. As you can see in this chart from Statista, a huge portion of current nickel mine production resides in Indonesia, while other big producers include the Philippines and New Caledonia, as well as BRICS member nations, China, Russia, and Brazil. You'll also notice that U.S. production is practically non-existent, according to the most recent data, making up only 0.7% of total global supply. Now, there are some big problems with these foreign sources of nickel. I don't think I need to tell you why the U.S. is hesitant to rely on imports from the BRICS blocks of nations and the Global South, with geopolitical tensions and deglobalization trends strongly in force. In fact, you might recall that following the Russian invasion of Ukraine in 2022, global nickel markets were thrown into chaos, with prices skyrocketing and paper markets even being halted following a massive short squeeze. What's potentially even more important is that none of those major producers I mentioned have free trade agreements with the United States. This is a very important detail because the U.S. Inflation Reduction Act prohibits electric vehicles with batteries made using nickel from non-free trade countries from receiving tax credits. 
On top of that, Indonesia, the world's largest nickel producer, has banned raw nickel exports since 2020. And manufacturers such as Tesla are understandably hesitant to move their operations to Indonesia because of that component of the Inflation Reduction Act. In order to resolve this, Indonesia has sought a limited free trade agreement with the United States, but has run into stiff resistance from a bipartisan group of U.S. senators who argue that the country's mining and refining industry is dominated by companies from China. So don't expect Indonesian nickel to solve the supply crunch anytime soon. If you combine the geopolitical difficulties associated with establishing reliable supply chains for nickel, along with the accelerating demand for the metal, you can see that the nickel price is ripe for a bull market. One interesting parallel to the current situation that we find ourselves in with nickel is the uranium market. The price of uranium, critical for the production of clean nuclear energy, languished for years, but over the past year it has surged as demand has outpaced supply and nickel could be the next strategic metal to follow suit. But how to take advantage of a rising nickel price? Well, if you're a stacker and you want to hold the real physical metal in your hand, you could stack some of these old Canadian nickel coins, which are 99.9% .9 pure. But a better option could be to own an interest in a world-class nickel resource located inside of the United States. Given the current dynamics in the nickel market, such a resource could become tremendously valuable. And that brings me to today's sponsor, Alaska Energy Metals, ticker symbol AKEMF. Specifically, I want to talk to you about Alaska Energy Metals Nikolai Project, a nickel resource with huge potential located on U.S. soil. Based on the results of drilling at the Nikolai Project, the company recently announced an inferred resource of 1.5 billion pounds of nickel, along with significant amounts of copper, cobalt, platinum, and palladium. Altogether, the resource consists of 2 billion pounds of nickel equivalent, and the company is pursuing an aggressive campaign of drilling to prove even greater amounts of metal in the ground. Ultimately, the objective is to create a compelling resource capable of sustaining mining operations for many years and to become a lucrative target in a wave of mergers and acquisitions in the nickel market, which has just gotten underway. Just this past month, Samsung invested $18.5 million in Canada Nickel as part of an effort to secure long-term supply chains for its battery division. Agnico Eagle and Anglo-American have also invested tens of millions of dollars in acquiring a share of Canada Nickel, a very interesting development given both miners have previously focused primarily on gold. And when you take a look at the resource being developed by Alaska Energy Metals, you can see they will be a ripe target for M&A activity. Let's talk about the history of this site briefly. In the 1990s, the original owner of the site spent over $30 million on drilling and nickel exploration. Now, when you look at the numbers, this is more than the entire market cap of the company in its current incarnation, which sits at just over $30 million Canadian, or roughly $20 million USD. And why was this site chosen in the first place? Well, the geology is similar to the Norilsk region in Russia, home to the largest nickel copper palladium deposits in the world. If you want further confirmation that this is indeed a good place to look for world-class nickel deposits, take note that Alaska Energy Metals Eureka claim is immediately adjacent to this claim from Cobalt Metals, a private exploration company backed by the likes of Bill Gates, Michael Bloomberg, Richard Branson, Jeff Bezos, Ray Dalio, and Jack Ma. Cobalt Metals uses advanced artificial intelligence to hone in on new deposits of lithium, cobalt, copper, and nickel. So the fact that they've chosen to set up shop right next door is a pretty good sign. Moving forward, the development of the resource will depend on drilling results. An additional 15,000 meters of exploration drilling in 26 holes will take place, with forecasts that successful exploration could yield a resource in the range of 7 billion pounds of nickel, the type of resource which, in a mining scenario, could yield multi-decades of production. 
exactly the type of resource that miners, battery manufacturers, and the clean energy industry will find incredibly appealing to acquire, especially given it is located on U.S. soil. In this scenario, today's market cap of only 20 million U.S. dollars makes Alaska Energy Metals appear to be a tremendous value play in the nickel space. But don't go out and buy shares in this company just because you heard about it here. Remember, none of this is financial advice. Everyone's situation is different, and you need to always conduct your own due diligence in matters of investing. A great place to start is by visiting alaskaenergymetals.com, where you can find tons of great information. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay safe and happy stacking, and I'll catch you next time. Smart Silver Stacker, out.